Once again, you are welcome to our Power BI Saturday event. And today we'll be looking at one very interesting topic that is time intelligence in DAS. So we want to see how we can actually add value to our presentation using time intelligence. And today, one of us that one of us will be actually talking to us today is Mouse Satisfied Solution Associates, and he has his MCT certification also, is a professional trainer. And today, he will be the one to handle this particular topic time intelligence function in Power BI. So, Mr. Collins, you are powerfully welcome. Hello, yeah. Mr. Collins. Yeah, can you hear me? Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Over to we can hear you. Yeah, good evening. You are welcome. According to Deji, you are powerfully Thank you. welcome. Thank you. Yes. Uh, today, we'll be looking at time intelligence functions in Power BI. As you know, you cannot write any report without dates. A report without dates is almost meaningless as dates have its own role in uh, in any report. And that's why time intelligence functions are very important. A lot of people run away from time uh, from these functions, but uh, whether you like it or not, you will encounter them. I'm calling Sebo and uh, I'm the one on the pilot. I'm the pilot for this course. First, Time intelligence functions are functions that support calculations, essentially to compare to get data over time periods, supporting days, sorry, months. Mr. Collins, can you help us take it to presentation mode oh, so that we sorry. can see? So, Thank sorry, you. I, thought, I thought I. Okay. Are we there? Can you see now? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Better. Yeah. Sorry. Time intelligence functions are essentially functions that support calculations to compare and aggregate data over time periods, supporting days, months, quarters, and years. And we have about 40 time intelligence functions in Power BI, and they can be safely categorized into two, standalone functions and functions nested within another function. And let's look at the elements of time intelligence functions. Number one, there must be a calendar table that table must be related to the model, and as much as possible, you can mark it as a date table. Once you have this, you are, you are home and dry to use time intelligence functions. Now let's look at the standalone functions. Because there are 40, about 40, we will not spend all the time. In fact, 40, we can never do all the 40 today. Besides, some are in groups. What affects one affects the other, it's just like the periodic table. Every group, uh, there are a lot of things in common. So the same thing, it's not ideal for me to take uh, first date, last date, start of month, start of quarter, start of, no. They are in groups, in such, such that if you affect one, if you deal with one in the, in the group, you are the same thing affects the others, only with a little tweaking here and there. That's the change, that's the change that comes. So we have these standalone functions. I, I deliberately uh, omitted one or two others because they are not as common. We have first date. What is first date? That is the first date in every transaction. If I ask you to please, uh, we are going to have a discussion together with all the Power BI people in May. And you know, May 1st is a public holiday, and assuming it's a working day. Power, time intelligence functions will not capture May 1st as part of it. The first date, rather, will not capture May 1st because it's a public holiday. But you will say, oh, we had all to the, the whole of the month of May, whereas there was no actual event on the 1st because it's a public holiday, May Day. Same thing happens to last day. It can pick the last day of every any event, not necessarily the last calendar date. We have start of month, we have start of 
quarter, start of year, we have end of month, we have end of quarter, we have end of year, we have opening and closing, uh, opening balance month, open balance, uh, closing balance month, and so on and so forth. These are standalone functions. Why do we say they are standalone? They are standalone because they can they impact directly on the calendar. And so you can just use the standalone functions and get results. For first dates and last dates, you get dates as return values. Start of quarter, same. End of quarter, same. So you see, you can also get, they, they, they can give you dates. We'll, we'll get to look at some of them as we go on. Now let's look at first date and end date. First date, first date is a function. Dates, it can be a column that contains dates. And this is this is it, for example. This is an example. First date, and the calendar date key or whatever the calendar date. And it gives you a set of dates, which are, we are going to look at it as we as we go on. And then it returns a table containing a single column and a single row with a date value. The same, same with end of month, it gives you the la, the, it referenced a date time column, that's the dates, expression that returns a single column. What does it give you? It returns the last date in the current context of the specified column of dates. How do we profit from this? How do we use this? Many people don't use first date and last date. They are also they are particularly uh, useful, not only as standalones when you need them, but they can be become an input into other functions. Now, quickly, let's go straight to BI and let's just try one of one or two of them before we go to the the main ones. I know most people are not too familiar with first dates and end dates and so on and so forth. So we shall not spend so much time on those ones. We shall spend mo most of our time on the on the nested ones, the shifting, the shifting uh, uh, functions. Now let's let's go back. Let me quickly go to uh, my power my power BI. I'm trying to get now quickly. <clears throat> I want to get the first date. First date, let me open a new one. First date of a particular event. I have loaded this is part of what you receive after at the end of the course. We are looking at car sales. In the car sales, essentially, it has uh, fuel efficiency. The name of the manufacturer, uh, the sale, the, the uh, price, and the dates. These are the four things it, it contains. But uh, be, be that as it may, be, be that as it may, if you, if you look at it, this is what it contains. The name of the manufacturer, the model, the date of sale, the fuel efficiency, and the prices sold. This is that's the that's the that's the that document we want to look at. <clears throat> After getting to Power BI to save. <clears throat> to save time. So quickly, let's look at the first date. How do we, go, we get a new measure? It's okay, the new measure. Um, let's call it um, first date. Let me call it feast dates so that it doesn't conflict with what I have already. Feast dates, just for the sake of. Uh, so, our function is first dates, first dates, and nothing else but the column of dates. And here we have a sale dates. So, we say sale dates. This is it. Very simple. So, just the function and then the dates. The function, the dates, and it gives you what you want. That's it. Okay, if we now go to 
come here, get a table, and get, I call it fixed dates, so as to di differentiate it. So let's take a manufacturer, for example. These are the manufacturers, and then uh, the fixed date, I call it, fixed date, to differentiate it from what I had before, fixed date. Now let me quickly make this fixed date. Let me quickly format this and make it uh, so we can see it properly. Good. Let me put in. Now you can see Akura, the first day sales started was actually 21st. For Audi, the first date sales actually started was 20, uh, 24th. BMW, the first day sales started was actually 27th of March. Big, the first day was 29th. Uh, Dodge, the first day was April, the 19th of April. So you see, well, you say yes, we sold in March, but it gives you specific dates for each, each, each product. So whenever you, you, you need such an information, it's easy to get. The corollary also occurs for the end date. All you simply do is to change this to end date, and then last date. Sorry, sorry, sorry. last date. And you can see it has changed also. These are the last dates that events occurred. So you can see that you can with this know which which when did act uh, when did it start when did it end when did it start when did it end when did it start. You can bring two of them side by side, and you know okay when did we start the sales of uh, Akura when did we end the sales of Akura, or if and so on and so forth. So it's quite it's quite easy to to manipulate. So that's what I want to do alone with the standard loan so that we can move to the uh, more serious ones. We have first date, end of, uh, end, uh, last date, end of uh, start of month, end of month, start of quarter, and so on and so forth. But let's go, let's move on straight to, uh, let's move on straight to other, uh, other functions that I think may be more interesting to, to most of us. Well, like I said, we also have the closing balance. Or opening balance, and then we'll go straight to the next step functions. Now, next step functions are where people have quite a lot of challenges. They have quite a lot of challenges. Now, look at sorry, this is a this is a, this is a, this, is a, this is an error in copying, but let, let me quickly show you. Uh, if you look at this, I have decided to group last these functions into the following. We have standalone, which I've just mentioned, first day, start of quarter, end of month, opening, balance, and so on. And look at the shifting functions, which is where I want to spend the bulk of our time. Now, if you look at the arrangement, the first thing is that people are afraid of the syntax. They have a problem with the syntax. Because they have a problem with the syntax, it becomes a major issue for them. Now, these are all the functions, most of the functions that we have in the shifting functions. Now, now if, if you look properly, uh, let me quickly get it. Is that something? If you, yes. Can you hear me? Yes, we can, sir. Yes, we can hear you, sir. Yeah, we okay. are with you. Okay, okay, good. Now, if you look at this, all the functions have, number one, they have the same thing in common. Let me just open open to it here. Sorry, uh, I have a, a little challenge with my, I had a little challenge with my computer that messed me up, if not for digital, build me out. Okay, I want to show you something. Now, 
please just give me one minute. Let me open the other file that is Excel five or uh, five. Blah, 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 blah. One minute. One minute. Sorry. Sorry. One minute. Okay, good. Now, this time intelligence functions are ordered in this manner. Previous period, previous period, the previous period have this in common. I want to start with previous period. I, I have an acronym for them, which I, I will give you at the end of the course. Now, if you look at previous period, if you look at all of them, all of them have dates. As one of the arguments. Number two, all of them, apart from having dates, they begin to change with time. If you look at previous P in one in the in the, in, in the file, I, I mistakenly I mistakenly uh, deleted the process of having challenges with my computer. I had arranged it in the order that you will enjoy. Now look at P, the previous has dates. You can see it. Next also has dates. It's just the function and the date. The function and the date. The function and the date. The next one is same period, the same, same period, the function and the date. So if you look at previous, next, same period last year, they have just function and date. Function and date. Of course, these shifting ones are wrapped in calculate function. They are nested inside calculate calculate function. That's why that's the, that's that that's why it brings out the beauty because it begins to modi modify the filter context. Now, so we have p previous dates, next dates, same uh, period last year dates. Then the one the next one that follows it, I actually did arrange it arrange it in the order I wanted. It's not that my computer messed up some few minutes ago. And I think I mistakenly did it, but I think I still have it somewhere. Now the next one is is dates, dates QTD. That's where which is so common. Dates MTD, dates QTD. Also dates MTD, uh, uh, dates MTD, dates, dates QTD, dates. So at least the first four, what you need is just the function and then the, the calendar date. The function and the calendar dates. They give you what you want. Of course, they are wrapped inside the calculate function. The next one is uh, that follows is it, now it begins to get complex. After the, 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 the next one that actually follows after uh, the QD is uh, parallel period. Parallel period, look at parallel, uh, uh, sorry, date add. Date add has three parameters. The first parameter is date, second is number of intervals, and the third one is intervals. Now, uh, parallel, uh, parallel, uh, that's date add. Parallel period had dates, number of intervals, intervals. Can you see? The next two follows with three parameters. The first one we said has only one parameter, the function and the dates. The next one has uh, three parameters, the, fu the function, the dates, and two other parameters. And what are these parameters? The parameters are common. Number of intervals, intervals. Number of intervals, intervals. So you know. So if, if you have that at the back of your mind, you know what to apply. So the first four, which is previous, ne previous, next, same uh, uh, period last year, and uh, and uh, uh, dates QTD, dates MTD, they only have the function and the dates. I'm really sorry. I don't know how I deleted it when my computer was giving me hassle. I had arranged it in the order that you, you make it very, very, you find it very simple. Now, the next one is the parallel and the and the and the date add two function uh, three functions the dates of intervals intervals and then the, uh, the 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 one that has the highest is dates in period which i explain each of these as we go on and then dates between it has only three and they are very straightforward start date end date start date end date so let's let, let's go straight into the business of the day having having explained this uh, uh, these bits. Uh, quickly, let's go to our BI. Uh, 
I've done, I've done, we've, we've seen the, uh, the first date and the last date issue. So let's go straight to Uh, the, uh, the first one we do is previous, previous, previous uh, months. Now, for previous months, what is it? It says the month before, but people usually think previous month means uh, immediate previous. That means if you are in, in uh, we are now in April. Previous month means March. Yes, it is possible. But even with your previous month, you can get previous month. With your previous month function, you can not only get March, you can get February if you want. All you need is just a little toolkit. Most of the functions, the same function can do se several things. Or rather, many functions do the same thing. So it depends on what you want. And then a, with a little tweaking, you can know which one to use. Now let's look at previous months. Want to look at previous month? Let's go to let's go to a, a, a calendar table. Now we'll, we'll go straight. Let we'll take a uh, let, me, let me create a new one. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I take ca the calendar dates. Okay. Then uh, let me take year and month. I, I, I get out of day, get out of quarter. Okay, I have this. Then I, I now go to the values. I, under the values, I put total, total, let me put total sales or total revenue. Either one, either one will su 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 suffice. Okay, let me use total revenue. Okay, let me use total sales so that we can, because it's smaller. So we can we can relate with it. Okay. Now let, let me now do the function of uh, let's now create the function the previous month function. We have previous month, we have previous year, we have previous quarter. But it is no point doing all the four. Well, we can just do one and which subsists for the rest. I complete a lot of since yesterday. Okay. Okay. So we'll call it previous month. Call it pre months. The time equals to. We just use the function name previous. One one previous month, previous month. That's the function name and the calendar dates. Once you just type date, the calendar date comes up, and that's all. Close the brackets. Good. Let me just um, so we can see we can see it. I put it in the in the in the in the mode. You can see it now. Let I can just add add. Uh, I just I can just add. I'll add total. So let me just add a uh, previous brief months that I just made now. Brief months. Hope I'm correct. This is it. Three months. Okay. I just drag it. Oh, I dragged the wrong one. Okay. 
I'm going to strap brief. Okay, still trying to walk. Please just give. Oh. What happened? What happened? What happened? Let me go back to the report. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Brief months, I hope. Okay. So why? Why? Okay, let, let me do that. Let me do that again. There's no reason why I should not work. Let me do that again. Okay. Uh, it does is, oh God. Okay, let me just redo it. Good. I come here. I take my dates. I take my dates. Okay. I am not dealing with day. I'm not dealing with quarter. Even the year, I'm not dealing with year. Okay. Now I now come up and take my previous month. Oh, then I come and take my total sales. Let me take my total sales. Oh. Something is wrong. Something is wrong somewhere. Okay, total sales. No qualms. I'll, I'll take that out now. I'll solve that now. Now. Previous month, previous month, previous month, where is the previous month? Okay, previous month. Aha. I can see where the problem is. Previous months. I want to see data for the previous months. It's not giving me ah. Previous month, why is it not giving me a figure? Sorry, I, I don't know what's happening. Okay, let me go back. Total sales, one minute please. Total sales, good. The computer has its own challenges, good. And I quickly I don't need total sales. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I can't see properly. All right, good. Now I'm back. I take the day. Oh, no wonder. Sorry, I went. I should be at the calendar table. Sorry. Aha, now, okay, good. Now I go straight, I don't need the, the, I don't need the, I don't need the total sales. I just need the previous months, I'm sorry. Previous months, let me work it out. Oh, there's a problem with the previous months. There's a problem with my previous months calculations. Which I can't explain here. Okay, previous months. Okay, I don't need you. The previous, the previous months. Month. Not use it with calculate function. Calculate function. Oh, previous month yet? Calculate. Calculate the sum of this. So can you see where the error is? Um, I have done one using. There's a previous month I did using total revenue. Can you see, and I'm using total sales by successor revenue. Can you see where the error is? This is it. 
my previous total previous month revenue, which is an error, is one of the jobs I've done before. So it's because I didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't, aha, this is the previous month I just did. So this is where the error is coming from because I've done one before and um, I've done one before. Lord, what is up? Previous month. You can, you can modify the previous month you did. That previous month is still correct. Just add your just add your measure or the the measure. This is the previous month months. is the measure. Oh ah uh, oh can you Calculate see what happened? What yes, I, I didn't put so I can do the previous month. Okay. Calculate function. I said I had already said that the calculate function is the bedrock of the nested ones. Some uh, will use total sales now. Total sales. So let's use sales at once. Total sales. Sorry for that. Sorry for that. Total sales. Total sales. Sum of sales. Sales. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can't even see my let, let, let me use let me use revenue all through so that I can I can be on the same state because I can't find it here. So I use revenue. I can use so, revenue. Let me use revenue all through. Let me use revenue all through. Okay, I, sorry. I'll use revenue. Don't worry. I will I'll use revenue instead of sales. That's all. I use revenue instead of sales. So I'll use instead of using sales somewhere and revenue somewhere. Uh, that's that's the cost because I had done it somewhere and I get it I get it mixed up. Okay, sorry for that. Good. Okay. Now this is let me call it previous month B so that I don't get confused with it. D -D -D. Okay, so that is the previous month using revenue. Good. I said it must be nested inside the calculate function. So what I understand the loan does not require a calculate function. Why this gave an error is because the calculate there was no calculate function. Now quickly, okay. So it's uh, previous month B B B B B B B. So, so I'm going to. Sorry, my computer is still working. Okay, previous month. I take the one that has B B B B B B B B. I'm trying to look for the one that has previous. Okay, let me write. Previous month. Previous month. month BBB. That's oh. how you spelled it. Previous month BBB. Previous month BBB. Or just search for BBB BBB. You can get out. Okay. That, that will. It's not good, you know. Okay. B R V E. Free, 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 then B B B. Space months. Then B B B B B. Okay. So, praise it. Good. Free month B B B. Okay. Now that's it. So I, I take it. Prev month BBB. Now I go to dates. So I, let me just clear this now. Go to dates. I ch choose my dates. I bring this one down. I don't want day. I don't want quarter. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. yeah. Now let me just bring in my. We use revenue, isn't it? We use revenue in calculating yes. it yes. instead of sales. So quickly, I bring revenue. Let me just revenue. 
total revenue. Good. Sorry, we wasted so much time on this. It's okay. Let me put it now. Now, you can see February. This is the month for February. Now this is also, I, I, well, in January it was this. We said previous. So when it come here, it becomes, the February becomes January. March becomes February. April becomes March. But I, I did say that it is possible for you to have Previous month is not limited to one month. It could be into two months. And so let's quickly go back and do it into two months at the same time. So what do we do? We come, let's take a previous month BBB. I wonder which one it is again. That's, it. that's one that is marked. Uh -huh. That's the one that is marked, All right. Okay, this is it. Good. I take it. I just want to copy it so I don't waste time. Uh, I want to copy it. And I'll create another measure to show you how you can go even with your previous month. You want to go two steps. You don't need to, oh, okay, oh, it cannot work. It can, it can work. It can work. Sorry, my computer. Messed up big time, big time. Okay, let me call it CCCC so that CCCC. Uh, okay, all you need is previous month here. You open the brackets, put it under previous month. And that's home and dry. So we have said previous month, previous month. Okay, let's look for it. Previous month, CCC, prev month, CCC. Prev month, CCC. Okay, this is it. I add it to it. Good. Let me now expand it. And let's go to the better mode. Yeah. Can you see? Why not rearrange it? Let BBB be before CCC so that we can easily okay. compare. Uh, okay, good, good, good. No problem. Let BBB. Let's have total revenue at the beginning, right? At the end. Yes. Uh, yes. That would be better. Better. Good. So, so you can see. Can, can you see? Can you see how it's cascading? It's cascading. Can you see? Can you see? All you need that you can you can do that instead of going to date art. Of course, date art can do the same thing, and so other functions can do the same thing. But if you're already on the previous and your and your boss says, look, okay, what of two months? Don't say you want to write another formula. Just create under previous month and then you can even so you can cre keep creating your previous month and as as the questions come maybe you are in a session and they're asking you questions you don't need to go and start creating a date another new date ad and we are no 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 with you the same thing you can keep doing that okay that's 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 that and we have the same thing for next what goes for previous goes for next let me just chase uh, do one next and then we can move on one for next uh next let me get out of this our time is almost up oh oh my god <laughs> oh my god okay the next well essentially what applies to previous applies to next so we may not even need to go to next the same thing applies to previous the the initial error of not uh, including the calculate it was the error remove the calculate i mean add the calculate because they are nested they are nested within the calculate is the overlap, is the wrapper that defines the filter context. 
for so let, let, let's go to same period last year the, the issue with same period last year it is an exact thing it says exact you want uh, july 1st uh, 2018 same period last year will give you july 1st 2017 it does not give room it's it's directional it's only one while uh, previous moves forward calculates forward ne i mean backwards next calculates forward uh, same period last last year calculates backwards so we have both previous and last calculating backwards whereas next calculates forwards and i've given you how you can you can increase it so uh, okay let's look at one same period uh, last year maybe uh, okay let me move on quickly um, same period last year Okay. Sorry, my computer is uh, is wonderful. It's giving me challenges since yesterday. Okay. Now I want to remove uh, this. This. Now I want to go to same period last year same period last year so okay simply is same thing yeah like i said is the same same period last year that is the function we wrap it in a calculate function and it is that's all so the first the previous the next the the same period last year is just the function and the date they give you exactly the thing i i believe we, we that is very clear now the, maybe maybe we shouldn't go into it because it's just the same thing the, the function, wrap it in a calculate, and then the dates. Now let's go to the one that is a, a little bit different, the dates, uh, the, the dates uh, YTD. Now the difference between dates YTD and uh, 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 total YTD, they are virtually the same thing. The only difference is that why dates YTD can allow you for, allow the, the filter, you can do, the filter is more than one, you can do more than one filter. Total YTD can only go to one length of filter. That's just the difference. But ordinarily, with one filter for one filter, they are the same. Let's quickly just do one. But I rather want to do an exception on the YTD. That is such that with your YTD, you, you, most people only look at January to December. Not all companies run January to December. Some run fiscal years, custom years, I mean, where they run uh, March, March, their end year in ends in March, some in June, some in September. So we'll look at we'll look at that quickly. Uh, uh, quickly, let me just rush again. Okay. okay so let's let's let, let, I want to do the 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 year to date functions. The year to date function it's it's, it's very beautiful. God, I, I deliberately I created a slide for the year to date function to, so I, I can explain explain it very well. I'm really sorry. I don't know how in this in the confusion that followed my the problem of my computer, I deleted. I was just struggling to, to make sure I make it for three o'clock. As a matter of fact, I called uh, the Jida local. Can we can I make today? Now look at look at the beauty of year to the date YTD. It so has. Can you take it to presentation, it to presentation mode? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh God. Okay. Look at the beauty of uh, uh, dates YTD. This is the function. This is the date. If your year ends in December, you don't need this. You don't need the third. You don't need this one. But if it's going to be a fiscal year that ends in March, in June, in September, or whatever date the company chooses, then you need a third factor. Now, the it is that it must be in the same locale as what you have when you are putting the, this, this particular function. Look at it. It's, it calculates the measure, the dates YTD, the calendar date. You see, they are up to, up to this point, they are the same. When it comes to fiscal year, you put a comma, then you put, like I said, look at this, you put it in, in, in speech marks, 30 stroke three. 
that is for March ending, and you close close it. If it is American system, if your date is in American system and you write 33, you know this is British, you have a challenge. So be sure that is it the local that you are writing your day, your fiscal year must agree with the local that is in your in your calendar dates. I hope that is very clear. Uh, now, so sorry, uh, Mr. Collins, before you go. Yes. Uh, the time is gone already. I will just want people to ask their question. I can see one hand up. And sorry okay. to thank you for the point you dropped there. The previous month goes with a calculate wrapper. I love yes. that. So Toby, do you have any question? I can still see your hand up. Sorry, it's my day mistake. No okay, question. okay, okay. Yeah, sorry. So no, no problem then. Thank you very much. So, Mr. Collins, a real yes. life scenario. Uh, Microsoft physical year finishes end of June, and the new year starts beginning of July. That How will I express myself here? Yes, thank you. So it will be, it, it will be calculate. I'm assuming uh, revenue, total revenue, date white it, calendar date. Microsoft is US. Are, are you following me? Okay, yes. Microsoft is US. So it's going to be a uh, speech mark 6 30 because 30 days is in June. Okay, 6 30. Yes, Thank the year you. is not necessary. Thank you very, very much, Mr. Collins. Please, I think an appeal. Your Excel, where you stated all those functions. Can you go back to the Excel, please? Okay. The Excel and your PowerPoint. So uh, we'll love it if you can share it with, with us. Yeah. Uh, I had the, I have a, actually, uh, it's the, my, the challenge I had with my computer, which I told you, so about an hour ago, in the process of trying to survive and make sure that this thing holds, I deleted what I shouldn't have deleted. And okay. uh, that's what I, I, since it's in my, I, I built it up, I will send it along with this package. Okay, so you thank you. This one is even recovered, so. Thank you very much. If you can help us work on it and give us the updated version, I think yeah. this will help. I can see some of them even have formulas in front of them an yeah, example syntax. Yeah. So this will really help us. We can practice with it. And some of your sample data, we can practice with it. Thank you very much, Mr. Collins. Uh, just like what he said, he called me a few minutes ago. And what he told me was that, can this training still fly today? I said, why? He said, the system refused to come up. I said, you know what? Off the system. He said, he has done it three times. Just <laughs> off it and on it. This time, press F8. If it comes up, let's manage it like that. Thank you very much, Mr. Collins, for okay. believing in us. And thank you guys for coming around. If you have any question, please, you can drop it on the chat. We have a lot of professionals on the chat. I'm happy I can see them all. And if you want to ask the question, feel free to raise your hand so that we can quickly answer the question. So I will hand over to Shooks to run his own part. Hello, Shooks, are you on the call? OK, so as usual, the link has been dropped. Shooks has dropped the link. I will encourage you to quickly click on that link, fill the form, and answer the simple questions based on today's training. What Mr. Collins has taught us, there is a one or two questions that have been added to the form. Quickly fill the form and answer those questions, and the best Amongst us today, we get the award. So we are giving award every Saturday. We want to recognize the best amongst us. So please quickly do that. So as you do that, the I think Shooks is on transit, is on the road, but he will definitely announce to us the winner, and also we can take it from there. So by next week, we are going in depth into some other functions on in DAS and we are climbing gradually up. We are doing lots of things around around DAS 
calculate and many more things that will help us. But if you have any question, please, I would beg you, that has to do with DAS. This season is DAS, DAS, DAS. If you have any question around DAS, please feel free to throw up the question and let's see how we can deal Toby with it. Toby is raising his hand. Oh, I thought you said it's a mistake. No, Toby, I, I, it was a feedback form, not, uh, I don't know. The form here is a feedback form, generally. Hey, I think it's supposed to have page one, page two. That's how we've been preparing oh. it. So when you fill the form, there should be page two. If there's no page two, no problem. That means just I told you, it's just a page. Oh, OK, so just give us the feedback. At, because it's on transit, it might not because be able to. It might not be able to drop the question. So he, he actually told us he's on transit. So no problem. Let us have your feedback for today. I thought it's as usual. So by next, by next week, we'll, we'll do it the way we've been doing. It. We did it last week. So thank you very much, guys. I appreciate you all. So this is. Uh, on the uh, dot of four. So, sorry, just okay. okay. Hello, Mr. Collins. You are saying something, please. Yes, I I, I, I want to apologize because um, my my it left to me. If if I could have handed over to DG, I would have. My computer dealt with me very well, but uh, I I'll get I'll get the the. Those things I have arranged ahead and send it along. And uh, unfortunately, we didn't touch the, the key areas of, uh, of uh, time, intel uh, time intelligence functions. We only stopped at uh, why.